to find the equation of a parabola using an image, the very first thing that you want to do is to find an image. Now you can either do this on the internet, but if this was a project I was doing in my class, I would have my students go out and take their own photo. Now, once you've got that image saved in your computer, you can go to Desmos and insert that image. So I am gonna grab that plus sign, add item, and scroll down to add image. And mine happens to be right there in my download. So I'm gonna click that and then open. Desmos does its best to center it, but you'll notice over here it says fountain.jpg and it gives you some options. So you can change the center here, which I don't really wanna do. You can also rotate this one by changing the angle measure and you can change the opacity, which I do want to do because I wanna have a better look at my grid. So I'm gonna change my opacity to maybe 0.6, that's about 60%. We're gonna be using the vertex or general form of the parabola where h comma k is our vertex and a that multiplier out in front determines the shape and direction of this parabola now back to desmos i noticed that i've got my vertex up here at about and i can even type it in just to see um zero comma maybe three point four and that actually looks pretty close maybe it's more like three point three let me go ahead and click and hold and then let's just make this point a little bit bigger say 12 so you can see that better and i'll make it orange so i've got a pretty good idea of what my vertex is so as i start to put this into vertex form i can type y equals let's go ahead and leave that lead coefficient out i'm going to leave the a out for now and then do x minus i've got zero and you can put the zero in or you can skip it but i'll put it in there so minus zero um, plus we decided that vertex was at 3.3 now i see that the direction of my parabola is wrong i need to reflect that down so i'm going to put a negative sign out in front so there's the direction part we also need to flatten this so that lead coefficient right now of negative one is actually too big. I'm gonna flatten it and you can play around with this a little bit, maybe 0.8, uh, maybe 0.5, maybe even just a little bit more, maybe 0.4. Um, how about 0.44? Okay. And I'm feeling really good about this parabola. You could also rewrite this without the parentheses and without that zero. So you've got that simpler form there. I'm gonna make this just a little bit bolder. So let's make this, I don't know, let's say six. And then I'm gonna make it orange again so we can see it better. Okay, that was the first way, but I wanna show you another way that is so incredibly nice using sliders. And you can do this with either the vertex form or the standard form. I'm going to, I'm gonna leave this parabola, but let's go ahead and hide it. And I'm gonna get rid of that point that we had there for the vertex. I'm gonna put my vertex form in, but I'm not gonna plug in any of the values for a, h, or k. So y is equal to a parentheses x minus h, squared plus k. And then it asks if I want sliders for the a, the h, and the k. And I will say, yes, please. And I can start to play with the shape, um, the vertex by changing the h and the k. And there we are, look how incredibly close we were. You might instead need to do this in standard form. So I'm gonna type in the standard form, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Now I've got sliders for all three of these and I can again start to change this to get the right shape, position, and vertex. So maybe about there, pretty close. Let me know which option works best for you and have fun playing around with these images.